Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me and asked me how I got my macros up here to the toolbar. Well, I really don't think everybody needs them up there, but I, I do try to make a lot of macros or basically play around with it. Like I've got one, you know, macro to uh, put stuff to the top left and just top left of the page and uh, the key the keystroke, I forgot even what it is. I guess I don't even have one. I'm gonna hit escape, assign it, press okay, and then all I have to do is hit the escape button and it puts the top left corner. So I play around with macros a lot, but there is a way you could have your macro, instead of having to go to tools and scripts in 19 and above or or macros in 18 and below to have this window without having to go up and you know go one, two steps. You could go right here and right click and turn on your macro. And here you have a little macro window and that I have up here, but you don't need it all the time. So if we wanted to start recording, you just hit that, name your macro, and then when you're through making your macro, just turn that off. So right, right click your mouse and you can, there's a lot of things you can add to your, uh, you can even have a project timer. So you could, as soon as you started moving and turn it on, and you could start tracking how long it took you to do something. And then when you're through, turn it off. And uh, I've, I've never used it, but that's how you turn it on and off. So it took me seven seconds to do something. So if you ever wanted to, you know, maybe time to uh, say, you know, charge somebody how long it took you to draw something. But instead of having your macros up here, which you can do, but I think it's a lot easier to just open up this macro window and have it right here. So this is record. And then these are grayed out because they're not working right now. If we record, then these become open. And then this is your macro manager that's going to open up this script where you have the, I have the top left, top right, you know, I have a bunch of ones I played with, you know, to make a diamond shape with one click. Anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.